Well, it just keeps getting more ridiculous. Get some free beer if you've been vaccinated. Wow. Free weed if you've been vaccinated in New York. Ain't that nice? Get to roll up a J. Get to puff your life away. Might be your last puff, McGruff. Because I was on the way home, and I could hear on the radio, they're like, Good news, guys. Budweiser's giving out free beer for a whole month if you've been vaccinated. Ain't that wonderful? Pardon my jargon, but I'm really trying to get past this billion dollar algorithm that if we even get close to some of these words, they're going to pick it up and then automatically this video will get flagged. So I can get these videos, get them to stay on YouTube and Facebook because I have found that they pick up one word, two word, bam, the, the video will get hit and it'll get like hardly any views at all. Just bear with me as I play around with the word terminology here. Well, anyway, they've been giving out free alcohol with the boom bada shada. So when you kind of think about alcohol and medicine, they usually don't mix. Usually it's not recommended for you to take your medicine with alcohol. And if they're not even warning those people not to drink while they do that. Is this even about health? I don't think this is about health. I mean, the government's been suppressing remedies for years, like tons of things. Whenever something positive comes out like, and it's cheap, positive, and it works, oh, they hate that. That's that's going to get an FDA ban. You won't even be able to get a prescription for it. You got to go to like Acapulco or something. And this has happened a lot with a lot of medicines. Simple things right now, if you look at the list of things they want to get rid of, you would cry. They want to get rid of turmeric. They want to get rid of anise. Anise, because it has some other things in there that if I even mention the word, it'll flag this video. It's ridiculous what they want to get rid of. Really hard right now in the grand old divide states of America. This is the most divided place in the world, if you ask my opinion. They, they try to divide us up in every way. Race color sex from the vaccinated and the unvaccinated there's so many ways they divide us rich poor uh country city southern northern yankee western it, it's it's really sick and as long as we have this mentality of going at each other because we're slightly different in some ways which is retarded because it's really just the people up top that are pulling the strings, agitating certain people. You know, they're staging a lot of these things. You think it's just real? This has been staged. and These people have been paid off to play a part. This is all an act, a scheme. For the majority of people fall for it. I was shocked. I saw my neighbor today, and I've, I always talk to him about the vaccines. And he's like, yeah, my doctor's been pressuring me to get it. And I told him what happened to my other neighbor. Didn't work out so well for him. And he got it. He got the murderer. And his wife got it. His two daughters got it. So he's probably not going to have any new kin, any babies uh, coming out from his daughters. So I guess his generation is going to end up passing with him and his daughters. Because I don't see any kids coming out of this. There was a study, I think it was about four out of five so far that they've noticed. About four out of five women that are pregnant, that they they take part in the the quaxa, that babies don't make it. So there you go. The Depapo agenda is full effect. I don't know about you, you know what I mean? I'm getting up there. I probably shouldn't be having any more babies, but... And, and this world is so crazy. You're like, damn, why would I even want to have babies? Why, why, why? Well, somebody's got to repopulate the earth. I look around it. Almost every neighbor has already went ahead and took the quaxine into their arms. Am I going to be the only one left in this freaking neighborhood? I have some news to report. I have officially got some property out in the countryside so I can get away from all this drama. No building. No building. I don't plan on building anytime soon because, you know, cost of lumber is like three times. The inflation is just out the roof. So I went ahead, got the cheap land I could find far out in the country and away from the nonsense where I won't be bothered. If they force people like me to live off grid, I'll be like, all right, peace. I'm out. See y'all. All right. You don't want me to be around? No problem. I got my garden right here. I got my well going.
you know, I might not be living in a nice house. I, fuck it, I'll be in a tent for now, and then I'll slowly work my way up. <laughs> hey, at least I got my property first. I worry about the other details later. You probably won't see me post them for a while. I'm quite content with that life that comes down to it, and I want to have a backup plan. As well, y'all should have some type of backup plans. I don't think it's going to be pretty in the city at all. Um, they're going to try really hard to push these passports, the Quaxine passports. Uh, some states, they have banned it, but if you look at the fine print of some of the terminology that's coming out and some of the legislation that even these most worshipped governors like DeSantis have signed, that they're actually authorizing the health minister of that state to determine if anybody is a threat to society that they could be quarantined and even quaxinated without any approval from the person. So even your most beloved governors have sold you out. You think they're on your side. They're only on your side to a point. He's done actually a lot of nice things when you look at it. People that got penalized for social distancing, he's pardoned all those people. So I got to give him props for that. But he, I tell you what, he was pushing that rollout of the quack scenes harder than almost anyone I've seen. You know, he was big onto Publix doing it. It really bothered me because I go to Publix and I, I would just be next to these people watching them take the quack scene into their arm. And I would ask them first. I'd be like, because if they already had their first one, I'd be like, well, fuck it. They already had their first one. You know, they're they're already totally indoctrinated. And probably anything, nothing I can do will be able to convince them if they're already at that point of accepting at that point. But if they had not taken it, I'm going to have a nice little conversation with them. And a lot of times they'll just, they blew me right off. You know, I had a few that I was able to convince to get out of the line, but it freaked me out because this is where I shopped and I was seeing these people just participate in this mass genocide. Well, I don't know what else you can call it. This is not about your health. You need to understand there is a big difference between an FDA approval an emergency use authorization. You understand with emergency use authorization that your insurance doesn't have to cover you for your medical expenses? You might have, if you have Medicaid, maybe you're covered, but your insurance provider can say, well, if it was caused by the quack scene, you know, this is experimental. Uh, sorry, buddy, you're on your own. And there's a bunch of people, they're up Shit's Creek. They're all their last resources. Bam, they have been put into that medical system who's getting rich 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 and i wonder too because these i've seen hospitals around here some new hospitals that are being built and they're expanding they're like they're growing like they know there's just going to be this huge tide of people that are going to be coming into the medical system that's going to be totally dependent on them and this is why it's being sold because this is their their last attempt to get the people that to stop the enlightenment They've made their way through a vast majority of the population to kind of trick them into getting it, scare them, freak them, frighten them. You know, there's a new variant every month of this new one, the Delta. Well, at first they called it the Indian variant, but remember when they said China virus? That was such a bad thing to say, but then they said Indian variant. Well, I guess China doesn't like India, so they're like, yeah, go ahead and say Indian variant. We don't like them. Then people in India are like, what the hell? People are starving out here more than anything because of the lockdowns. People were getting sick from other reasons, and they just totally switched the story. There was actually a, a huge gas leak in the city. A bunch of people died from it. And then you had the major network saying, oh, the coronavirus took out all these people. This is going on. And I can tell you that a lot of times that people are taking the bait. They're falling for it. They're going for the free beer. They're going for the free weed. This is preying on the weak. I mean, there's a there's Darwin Award winners every day with this. I mean, how many Darwin Award winners do we have in the United States? Maybe 180 million Darwin Award winners. I'm just trying to stay positive through it all. I'm going to do my part, whatever I have to do for my family first, and then I'm going to try to help out my neighbors. But it comes to the point that they're going to, they might be debilitated. Maybe I'm going to have to do some favors or whatever. You know, I'm going to do it. Because to me, I think I've already been exposed to the spike proteins. I was around somebody that had had it, and I had already suffered some from that. 
if you take care of your yourself, you have a great diet, you're detoxing, you're eating clean, you're getting plenty of sun and fresh air, not with a mask on your face all day, that you can bounce back from that, recover, and your body can fight off to some degree. So I, I'm not being scared about it. You know, I freak people out. They want to try to like desanitize my car with these chemicals that can actually uh, sterilize me. So I'm like, no, thank you. I don't need that, you know. It's like, can you give me a dirty shopping cart? And they're like, some of them were like, what? Dirty shopping cart? Yeah, I was like, don't clean it, please. I don't want that shit on my hand. A lady that comes to the house, she wears two masks. <laughs> and you're probably like, why am I even letting somebody come by my house with two masks? Well, yeah. I, and it's weird, too, because she knows the story of what's happened with us. It's kind of woke me up that I uh, had somebody in the family who was permanently damaged from a quack scene. That was the turning point right there is when we suffered a huge loss in our family that a, a child permanently damaged. You're talking about a, a really healthy child that was in perfect health and then they go to one of these wellness visits and they're not the same kid after that. Stop talking, tons of allergies, eczema. Well, very emotional, cried about everything. Couldn't talk for a couple of years after that when they were talking pretty good before. It took a very bad quack scene injury in the family to realize that the healthcare system is not out to make you thrive, okay? They're actually out to make more customers because it's all business model. And that's the problem with modern medicine. It's all based on profits. There's like some old Indian systems where they're based your health on how long you stayed healthy after they talked to you. So that was kind of their way of dealing with things. We totally need to change the way healthcare is built and used. I could be for free healthcare technically, but we're talking about this modern day healthcare that it's not really healing people it's keeping people in this vicious circle where they grab one medicine they get two side effects then they have to get another medicine for those side effects and it just keeps building and revolving rotating and you have this debilitated person who on about 10 different drugs and they're in a state of desperation of hopelessness and they're not really better at all in any way they're really just hanging on you see people are more diabetics now, more people on dialysis now. You used to not see dialysis clinics on every strip mall. You never saw that before. People are more messed up now than ever. We're being assaulted from all angles. It's going to get rough in the wintertime. Well, anyway, I was getting back to the story of the lady who comes to my house with the two masks. She's all up to date on her quack scenes. She called in sick. She couldn't come this week. Apparently, she's got a really bad cold, guys. I thought she was immune. She got this thing to protect her, and apparently, it's, it's not working. There was a study in the UK that you're more likely to die if you did get it and you got sick than somebody who, who didn't take the you-know-what into their arm. It was almost double. It was only a small sample size, only like 300, like 500 people, but still. What does that tell you? That thing is not going to protect you at all. I'm really uh, concerned for the people that went ahead, rushed out, and got it. Now they might be put in a position where they can say, look, you took one. Now you got to keep taking them or it's Sayonara. I mean, they could technically pull some stuff like that. And now they're finding, they say they've been finding really odd, strange things in the quack scenes. That would just blow your mind. I don't even want to say the words here because it's just going to flag this. Don't fall for the the cheap tricks and the, the petty offers because your life is worth a lot more than a beer or a cigarette or a joint or a basketball game or you name it. Like I've told you guys before, a billion dollars, I would turn down a heartbeat. And I'm sure many of you that are watching this video feel the exact same way, that there's nothing they can offer you. We got to stick together. Maybe have each other's emails and phone numbers. Just think of plans. What well, well, what a post-apocalyptic society look uh, when you consider that most of the population is either dead or being con totally controlled. There's actually been a, a Supreme Court ruling that 
a genetically modified person can be property. This is like some modern day slavery stuff going on. The technically these people have a patent on your body once that they've changed their DNA. The Supreme Court's already made a ruling on this. So I don't know what to say, guys. You want to be somebody's property? Is it really worth a beer or a joint? I don't think so.